Good luck. Merhaba arkadaşlar. Hepiniz IFT Talks webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün Sigmund Freud'un ABD'de ders verdiği tek üniversite olan Clark Üniversitesi'de lisansüstü programları Lauren'den dinliyor olacağız. Lütfen sorularınızı questions kısmından sormayı unutmayın. Yes, Lauren, the stage is yours now. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Uh, as she mentioned earlier, my name is Lauren Scott, and I'm the Assistant Director for International Recruitment and Graduate Admissions. So today I am here to talk to you about specifically graduate programs. So we do have undergrad, we do have PhD programs and certificates, and I'm more than happy to point you in the direction of someone who can help you with those. But today I'm gonna specifically be speaking about master's programs. You might call them graduate or post-grad. Essentially these programs are programs that you need to have a bachelor's degree already in order for you to apply to them. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So give me just a moment. And hello, everybody. I love all of the hellos in the chat. That's great. Okay. Now, Zainab, could you just tell me if you see my screen in its entirety? Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. So as I mentioned, Clark University, I'm going to give you a quick overview of who we are as a university and then talk about the programs that we have available to you and then what the student experience is like. So Clark University, this is our Jonas Clark building. This is the first thing you see when you enter Clark's campus. We were founded in 1887 and we were actually the first graduate school in the United States of America. So we have a very long history of doing what we're doing. We have over 3,000 students from over 80 countries across the world, and a third of those students are international students. So we already do have students from Turkey, Azerbaijan, uh, Iran, Iraq, all around those areas, as well as Latin America, you know, Brazil, Colombia, we have Mexico, we have students from Eastern Europe, Northern Africa, and Southeast Asia and China. So we also really like to keep our classes small so our student to faculty ratio are for every 10 students on campus, we have one faculty member. That means you're going to get a really good opportunity to talk with your professor, network, get to know your peers. It creates a really nice student experience in the classroom. And I want to take a brief pause here. Please do at any time that you have questions, put them in the chat or the question spot, and I will definitely answer them as soon as this, is, this presentation is through. So rankings and recognition. Rankings are really important to international students. We understand that. So I have put a few of our rankings here. These are not all of our rankings. So our School of Management, our business programs, finance, management, these are five, um, sorry, AACSB accredited, which only 5% of business schools across the world can earn this recognition. Out of the hundreds of thousands of schools, that means less than 13,000 schools have this recognition. We also, in the Princeton Review, are rated number 18 for happiest students, and that really has to do with the program quality and also the student life experience and the outcomes after graduation. So we're really proud. That's my happy, that's my favorite uh, ranking that we have. And then for US News and World Report, Clark consistently ranks in the top 100 best national universities. This year we are at number 103. And we are also number 27 for best value school. And what best value means is it looks at the price, the quality of the programs, but then also the outcomes for the students. So, you know, what your outcome is coming into our programs. So that's a really great ranking. We're very proud of it. And we've also been ranked as a best business school in 2021. So you'll see our name up there with really high profile schools. And we're really proud of that. Uh, we're definitely scrappy in terms of our School of Management and the rest of our programming. For the Times Higher Education, we are ranked at number seven among the world's best small universities, uh, which is, a, again, a really strong ranking. So Worcester, this is where our campus is. Worcester is in the center of Massachusetts almost, which is about 45 minutes from Boston. So you can see this map over here. This is the state of Massachusetts. This heart is where Worcester is. So you take this heart out, move it over. Boston is only 45 minutes from us. Providence is 40 minutes from us. And then New York City is about three hours by car, three and a half maybe. So we're in a really great location. 
the pro to living in Worcester, aside from one of those cities, is that our cost of living is way less expensive than living in a big city like Boston and New York. And Worcester's not even small. Worcester's the second largest city in New England, which is the northeast corner of America. So we have a large city. We are also very close to mountains and the ocean, rivers and lakes. So if you're interested in being outdoors, it's a great location. And on top of that, again, it is more affordable. With all that being said, Worcester is going through a rejuvenation. So we just built million dollar stadium for um, minor league baseball. That is extremely popular right now. We also have created new shopping and eating areas that are very modern, very pretty. They have great diversity in their food collection. So if you are homesick, it's really likely that in Worcester, you're going to be able to find a grocery or a restaurant that sells the food from your home that will make it just a little bit nicer in that home sickness experience that students often get when they move abroad. Additionally, we are only 40 minutes from an airport, Boston Logan's airport, and we have a train that goes to and from Boston over 20 times a day. So we're a really accessible city, especially if you don't have your own transport. And one thing you should know is we experience all four seasons. So you will not only get hot and humid weather in the summer, but you will get snowy and cold weather in the winter. These are some pictures of what life is like at Clark University for our students. This is a cafe right on campus, Acoustic Java, very great. This is our new stadium that we just built that has fireworks every Friday. Over here, you're gonna see murals that we've painted across the city. There's dozens of murals across Worcester that are beautiful. We have a fantastic art museum that has really famous high profile artists featured. Uh, as I mentioned, we're very close to the outdoors. So you can go to the mountains and the ocean in the same day. You can go kayaking, you can go on a hike. And then lastly, you'll see some students here bowling nearby campus. Schools. So now this is the part of the program where I'm going to talk to you about what programs we offer, what schools we have. We have four academic schools and then the fifth one here at the bottom, American Language and Culture Institute. This is the school that you will participate in if you're looking for ELS, so English classes, or Pathway, so maybe your English scores aren't perfect yet, you can't get directly into your degree program. We'll put you in the American Language and Culture Institute where you'll do English and you'll do your program for a little bit. I'll talk a little bit more about that after I get through all of these academic programs. But just as a brief interview, we have programs focusing around international development, professional studies, management, and then design and tech. The first school that I'll talk about is our International Development Community and Environment Program. We call this IDCE for short. These programs up top, the first three, are all 10 courses, so 10 classes, and they can be completed in 18 months. These are our programs that range around international development, community development and planning, and then you'll also see our STEM course, Environmental Science and Policy. Whenever we have a STEM program here, I'm gonna have it in parentheses beside that, and we'll talk about what's different about those STEM programs and why it's important to know after I get through all of the programs. So keep your eyes open for those. Lastly, for our IDCE, we have another program, our MS in Geographic Information Science. This program is actually two years long and it's 12 courses and you can only start in the fall. These programs you can start in the fall or the winter, so that's September or January. This program you can only start in September. So our requirements for you to get into these programs, there isn't a there isn't a GMAT or GRE requirement. However, we do want to see a GPA of around 2.8 uh, or higher. We really want to see relevant academic background or work experience. So what makes a really strong candidate is say you graduated with your undergrad, you went to work for a year and a half or two years, and then you're coming back. Bringing that experience into the classroom enriches the program for other students. And then it also serves you better when you go back out into the field. You'll see over here that this is our highest price point at Clark University. The programs do not get more expensive than this. So our GIS program is at 72,000 US dollars, whereas the other IDCE programs are at 60,000. However, we do offer scholarship. So students that get into this program are eligible for scholarships between 10% and 50% of your tuition. What's also great is that Clark is working to create a scholarship specifically for students from Turkey. 
So if you have questions about that too, please put them in the chat um, at the end as I will touch on that a little bit more. These scholarships will also range from 10 to 50% for Turkish students. All Turkish students who get accepted will be eligible to apply, not apply, but to be reviewed for these scholarships. So a good piece of information to have is our English requirements, which you will see right here. This might look a little strange. What this means is that for a student to apply and immediately start in their program and not take English courses beforehand, we want to see a TOEFL of 85 or an IELTS of 6.5. We also accept the Pearson's test. We accept Duolingo. We get that a lot of that. The direct entry score for that is 110. You can also go to EC English or do an ELS program before joining us. Next is our School of Professional Study. This is the school that you're gonna come here to really elevate the current position you have at work, right? So like you're, you're in your job, you're doing well, but then you wanna elevate it, you wanna be able to get the next title, the next salary bump. School of Professional Studies is a great way to do that. These are all 10 classes long. They can all be completed in 18 months. There is some possibility to complete some of these in a year. That is if you do fall, spring, and summer programs, but you have to work closely with your advisor to plan your schedule to do that. And again, not all programs can you finish in one year, but it is an opp opportunity for some programs. So the School of Professional Studies offers communication, public administration, information technology, data analytics, project management, and computer science. You'll again notice that we have three STEM degrees in this program. So SPS is our lowest price point at Clark University. Tuition is around 29,000 US dollars for the entire program. This is tuition alone, okay? So tuition costs 29,000 US dollars. Living expenses, meal plans, that's additional. And your scholarships are specifically focused on the tuition portion of your payment. So scholarships are not going to cover room and board, for instance, okay? These programs require a 2.8 minimum GPA. We do not require the GMAT or the GRE. We do want to see relevant background or work experience. It's not absolutely required, but it is a nice bump to see that. And what's important to note is that these programs, you can go into Pathway, our English Pathway program, and complete the first semester in there to get English support and do your academic work simultaneously. That opportunity is not open for IDCE programs yet, but every other school we do have that program available. So School of Management, these are our business and management programs. The length of these programs varies. So our MBA program is 10 units, so 10 classes. Our analytics programs are also 10 classes, whereas management and marketing are 10 courses. So you'll see the list of courses here. I mentioned a few. The others are accounting, accounting analytics, business analytics, finance, marketing, and marketing analytics. And again, you'll see plenty of STEM designated programs here currently. We are also working on getting a MBA STEM program available for the fall. So for these programs, we do like to see a 3.0 GPA. We can accept some students with a 2.8, dependent on their other experience in their resumes. Um, we do not require the GMAT and the GRE for all programs. We do really like to see it. It will increase your scholarship amount if you have a good GMAT or GRE score. That being said, it is not required except for the MBA program. So again, you'll see our English test scores. And again, we offer pathway English programs for these programs if students need them. And you'll see our, our scholarship and tuition. So scholarship for these programs are between 10 and 50%. Uh, the range of tuition for these programs can vary as you see on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, our highest price point is analytics, accounting analytics. And this is because of the test costs at the end of the program. These are 62,000 and then the lowest price point in this group is our master's in management and marketing, which is at 47,000. So you can see it's right in the center of Clark's price point. The Clark MBA program. This is one of our most popular programs. We have a really high standing and ranking for our MBA program across America. What's great about this is students often want a dual degree. So maybe they want a dual finance and they want an MBA. We have that, but 
you will have to stay in the States longer. Maybe you didn't want to be away from home that long. Maybe it's too expensive. A great alternative is doing the Clark MBA and having a concentration out of one of these seven topics. So you can have your MBA program and you can specialize in finance management or whichever one that you would really like. For the MBA, we do require a 3.0 minimum GPA and we do want to see a GMAT or GRE score. Um, we really want to see the GMAT at a 570 or above. So if you cannot meet these standards the first semester, what we'll do is we can put you in the management program. And if you do well in the first semester, you get a 3.2 or higher, you can automatically be moved into the Clark MBA program. At that point, we will review your application and increase your scholarship or keep it at the same rate. So you will not lose the scholarship you've already earned. What's also great is if you meet these requirements right off the bat, so you immediately come to us, you have a 3.0 GPA and you have a 570 GMAT and you have work experience, we have higher scholarships available for those students who meet our requirements and who are exceptional. So we do have a couple of 100% tuition scholarships available. Um, and then we can go higher than 50%. And this again is based off of the academic and work merits of each individual. So our last academic school is our Becker School of Design and Technology. We have run one program that we offer here. We just absorbed this program from another school. It's two years long and it's the Masters of Fine Arts and Interactive Media. This program is fantastic for students who want to get into game design or any kind of interactive media at all. We're number seven in the world for game design. So this is a really great opportunity for students to get into these programs. The outcomes, we have students who work at Rockstar and other video game developers who are doing really well. The admissions requirements are a little different. So we do not require the GMAT and GRE. We want to see a 2.8 minimum. We want a personal statement and we need a portfolio to see what you're capable of. This is different in that you don't need two letters of recommendation. You don't need to give us a resume necessarily. So these requirements are really unique to the Becker School of Design and Technology. Lastly, so I mentioned this a little bit ago. So we have those four academic programs and now we have our English program. So the American Language and Culture Institute is our department that we will send students to who do not have a TOEFL of 85 or an IELTS 6.5 or a Duolingo 110. So if your English scores are lower than that, we still welcome you to Clark University. We want you to come here. We want you to be able to get this education. What we will do is offer you one of two programs. If your English scores are high enough for the pathway program, you will be placed in the pathway program and be able to take two courses that go towards your degree program and you will get credit for them. You will also be taking two English courses to supplement your English. This is only one semester. It costs about 15,000 US dollars and there are 20% scholarships available for students. You might be wondering what you have to do for scholarship. The answer is nothing. We will review your application for scholarship at the time that we are reviewing your application for entry. So if you are admitted into Clark University, you will automatically be reviewed for scholarship. It does not mean you will automatically get one. It does mean that you're being reviewed for it. You don't have to check a box. You don't have to submit another application. We make it as easy as possible for the student. So next, if you still don't have an English score of maybe a TOEFL 75, IELTS 6.0, or a Duolingo of 95, 105, then you will be put into our EAS program. These are our ELS courses here, so English language. These programs are going to have four you're going to be in an English reading and writing class and then an English speaking and listening class. Uh, and this is what you're going to do for the whole semester in order to get your English marks up higher to get direct entry into Clark University. So these programs can start in the summer, fall and spring and they cost just over $11,000 and they have 20% scholarships available. What's also important to know is that our pathway programs can run in the fall and spring and we can do these programs in person or online. So if you didn't want to travel to the US for English, but you need it first, you can do it from your home or you can come to Clark. You can live on Clark's campus. You can get a meal plan. You can participate in Clark University right away. That is what makes our all program 
which all, this is short for ALSI, um, special in comparison to doing like an EC English or doing ELS classes at another small organization. As soon as you are in the American Language and Culture Institute, you're immediately seen as a Clarkie or a Clark student. So you get all the benefits of being a Clark student. Housing. So we do offer campus housing. We have on-campus housing, which you can do for one semester or one year. And the price will vary depending on if you want a single room or a double. Um, you can see the cost for a semester is about $4,300, whereas a year is $8,600. These need to be applied for as soon as you get in because the housing is limited. Only about 14% of graduate students decide to live on campus. And that is because of lower availability and also because there's plenty of off-campus housing that is more affordable. So next we have our off-campus housing. These really could be anything that you wanted. So we work with an affiliate website called Jump Off that allows you to filter through apartments that are local to Worcester. And you can pay anywhere from $300 a month to rent one room, an apartment with roommates, or you can spend $750 a month. Um, and it really just depends on how many roommates, where you want the location, things of that nature. So it's very affordable in Worcester, whereas you know in Boston or New York, you're paying $1,000 at least for a rent. Student activities. So I think this is part of why we have some of the happiest students in the world. We have over 130 student clubs and they vary from political sciences to environment to community and work or cultural clubs. We have year round events on campus. We're a very engaged community, very tight knit. You will see the same faces on campus over and over again and really get to know your peers. We also have an international gala every spring. So this is where it, students from abroad that are international Clarkies come and they perform different cultural dances or songs. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of camaraderie around that week. It's one of the students. It's the students favorite event of the year, quite frankly. And then we have spree day, which we've been doing since 1903, which is just a really fun day. We cancel all our classes. We bring food trucks and music on campus. And we really just want to make a nice community. So what you can get from this is that we have really strong academic programs, but we also have an extremely strong, tight knit community. You will find a home at Clark. Resources for you. So we do have a fantastic library. You're going to see the entry of one of our libraries right here. It's the largest one we have on campus. We have student advising and a one on one writing center where you can go when you need help on assignments or anything like that. You'll also see over here, we have mentioned that we have health services on campus. We have counseling and therapy services for free for our students, a bookstore, a gym, an athletic center, pool and fitness, sports grounds, all of that will be open to you as a Clarkie. We also have a 24 seven operating Clark University Police Department to protect students when they are on campus. We also have campus ambassadors who can walk you around campus at nighttime if you feel unsafe. And you'll see on this bottom photo, this is our escort service. So seven days a week from four in the afternoon to 4 a.m., we offer a completely free shuttle ride for students that are Clarkies to get around the university area. So it goes within like a five or six mile radius of campus so that you can get things that you need like groceries, you can meet your friends out at bars or restaurants. Um, you can go dining, you can go to the pharmacy, get groceries. We really want you to be able to access Clark and we don't want price to be a barrier. Clark has great public transport. This is completely free to students and it's a safer way than walking home at night. Career services. This is really important to our graduate students. Each school that I mentioned earlier, our School of Management, our School of Professional Studies and our International Development School, these all have individual career centers. So what you can do if you want an internship or you want to work in the States after Clark, you can go to career services in your school and ask them to help you obtain these services. So they'll help you with resumes, CVs, cover letter writing. They'll give you mock interviews. They'll bring in experts to give you mock interviews. They give you job fairs, internship fairs. They'll have alumni come to campus to have a panel to answer all of your questions. And the feedback I've gotten from career services is if we have a student working with us, they will find a placement. 
It's those students who wait until the very last minute or students who do not come to them for help who might have a harder time finding placement. Clark is located in Worcester. There's over 5,000 operating businesses there, so we can find a place for students as long as they're working hard and they know what they're doing when they get into the interviews. Besides Worcester, we're near Boston, Providence, New York. All of those places are really high placement areas for Clark students after graduation. So as I mentioned before about STEM programs, this correlates very nicely. So after you graduate, say you wanna work in the US, all Clark students will be eligible to stay in the United States for one year after graduating to get work experience. However, if you chose a STEM program, so analytics, IT, that sort of genre, you will be eligible to stay in the US and work for up to 36 months after graduating. So this is a really great opportunity to come and get a fantastic education and then apply in the real world international setting before taking it back to your home country or possibly working longer in the US, depending on work visas and things of that nature. So again, as I mentioned, most students do find placements in Worcester, Boston, or New York, since they are so close by, but we have students who find placements across the entire United States, LA, uh, Chicago, Dallas. So you really have opportunities. Um, people know when you go to Clark and you bring your Clark degree somewhere, you're gonna get a good student. Application details. So these applications are completely online. They're very simple to fill out. What we will require is your unofficial transcripts. We'll only ask for your official when you get to campus or right before. You'll need to complete a personal statement for your program, a resume, and then for most programs, we want two letters of recommendation, but you do not need that for the MFA program. We do ask for GMAT and GRE scores, but again, they're really only mandatory if you're going into the MBA program. The other ones can be waived, but we really do like to see the GMAT and the GRE because it will increase the amount of scholarship that you could potentially get. Application fees are $75. Uh, if you do use an agent from your country, then you can get that application fee waived, uh, but it is a small fee and we do waive them on a case by case basis. You will have to complete a letter uh, essentially asking and under making a note of why you would be a good candidate to have your application fee waived. Admission decisions come within two to three weeks, so you won't be waiting months to hear back. And then our deadlines are rolling, so we do not have a hard deadline. So if you are applying a month before school starts, if you think you can get in, get your visa and get a flight to America, that's still an opportunity for you. So we do not have hard deadlines um, and we're willing to work with students if they're trying to get here. Lastly, here is my contact information at the end of this. Uh, my email is lascott at clarkuniversity.edu. You can email me and ask questions after this if you were not able to, or if we don't get to your question today. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Thank you all so much for listening. And now I'm going to just open up our chat and answer some questions from you all. Okay, so I think there's some questions in the chat box. I'm gonna go into the questions box first. Um, okay, so I have just graduated from the bachelor degree program. I have been planning to enroll for a master program for three months. Could you please briefly mention about the opportunities you have been providing for students? So now you know about our programs that we do offer, you know we have a rolling basis, you have my contact information. So I think the best move for you personally would be to go onto our university website, figure out what program you're interested in, and then reach out to me. As soon as you reach out to me, we can talk about what your next steps are, if the program's a good fit, if you need to talk to a faculty member to learn about the curriculum and see if it's gonna fit your career goals, we can absolutely do that. Okay, we also have a question about scholarship opportunities and its criteria. Average price range. So at this point, you should know what our average price ranges are because I had them all listed in the PowerPoint slide and I had the scholarship amounts listed in the PowerPoint slides. So average scholarship for School of Professional Studies is 10 to 30% of your tuition and then average scholarship amount for the School of Management and the School of International Development and Becker School of Technology. Those are 
uh, 10 to 50 percent scholarships. I feel like I'm missing a school. Uh, the only one that's 10 to 30 is the School of Professional Studies. So we do have data on this. They are in our outcomes portion of our website. However, because of the pandemic, we haven't been able to collect that data very reliably in the past few years. So we still are operating off of data that happened pre-pandemic, but we are currently working on getting out alumni polls and surveys because this data is very important to us too. We value what happens to students after they graduate. But I will say, though I can't give you statistics of 2019 or 2020 at this point because of the pandemic, they typically have a really great experience. We have a really good relationship with our alumni. A lot of times they come back to campus and they'll talk to our current graduate students to tell them about how their Clark experience made it possible for them to be where they are today. So we do have a very high placement rate though. I know it's in the higher 90s of within six months of graduating, majority of our graduate students have found uh, job placement. So great question, are there opportunities for PhD in the ITE program? So we do have, um, oops, we do have PhD programs that are available through that school. Um, they will be available on our website if you search PhD programs. Uh, I don't have them listed here because I am here to specifically talk about grad school studies at this moment, but please look that up. And then if you have questions, just email the grad admissions website. I'll put their email in the chat before I'm done answering all of these questions. It's just gradadmissions at clarku.edu. And then they will be happy to connect you with a faculty member who leads the PhD program. So you're gonna to get to talk to the faculty members that you'll be working with. Okay. Do I have a chance to enroll for post-grad program without taking the TOEFL or IELTS exam? The only way that you will be able to take a program at Clark University if you are from an international country Hi, Lauren, can you hear us? I lost the call. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. I'm still answering the question about TOEFL and IELTS exams. You do need one. You do need to get an English um, exam, whether it's Duolingo, um, IELTS, TOEFL, Pearson's. Um, so it can be any of those tests. It doesn't have to be TOEFL or IELTS. But if you are from a country that doesn't natively speak English, or if you didn't get your bachelor's degree in a country that natively speaks English, say you went abroad and you got your undergrad in uh, the UK, then you would not need to provide us those test scores. But if you don't have that information, then you will, because we cannot verify whether or not you actually will be able to keep up with the program's language. So if you have further questions about that, the information is on our website, but you can also email me. Okay, what makes you different from other peer universities? What's the main feature that distinguishes you from others? This is a really great, great question. So one of the things that I personally think differs Clark from other universities, and mind you, I do work at Clark University, but I also obtained my master's degree at Clark University. Um, they have phenomenal support services. So our international students are now part of the International Center at Clark University. This is, a school, this is a department that focuses on, yes, getting your immigration documents here, making sure that you're not va violating your visa status, but it also arranges English work workshops for students who might need them who are not in English programs. They ar arrange trips for students that are able to go and explore cultural areas of the United States. So you're not just getting the student experience, you're getting the American cultural experience. But beyond that, we also have those phenomenal student service centers. We have a great writing center. We have constant workshops, webinars, seminars that are being put on by faculty members or external people who are really experts in their field. So you get a chance to network with some really incredibly powerful and impressive people on Clark's campus whenever you're here. Not only that, but you will likely end up having a LinkedIn connection with them, being able to start another dialogue afterwards. So between our support services and the quality of our programs, the quality of the program speaks for itself. You can go on our website, you can see some of the alumni outcomes on our websites. Our programs are strong, we're very well respected in the United States. 
So a combination of that mixed with our support services, Clark students are going to have a great time on our campus. And if anything is going wrong, we have an office that will be responsible for helping you through that issue. I also will say the faculty members that I experienced in my programs were wonderful and I've developed close personal relationships with them. And I've actually used some of my faculty members from my master's programs to apply for jobs that I've received just like the one I'm currently in right now. Okay. Is there master's programs in your school? Okay, so I think we've covered this program, this answer about programs now. I think you have understand what programs we have. Uh, the most popular majors among international students. Great question. This varies depending on where the students are from. So for Eastern Europe, specifically with Turkey, I see a lot of students being interested in business and management programs. Um, Whereas like if I have students from Northern Africa, they're really focused in international development programs. Overall though, I would say our programs in the MBA and analytics and computer science, which is new to us, we're starting it this fall, that's gotten a whole lot of attention in the past few months that we've been marketing it. Um, and information technology, those are some of our largest programs for international students. Okay, so how about the approximate living expenses in Massachusetts? These are all great questions. Um, so Massachusetts itself can be an expensive state to be in. However, Worcester is really affordable in terms of cities and especially because it's a college town, there are really low cost housing for students. Boston is extremely expensive. You're going to easily be paying minimum $1,200 for an apartment, maybe higher, whereas Worcester, you can rent a room or you can get your apartment and be spending between 300 and 750 US dollars. I highly recommend Worcester as a place to live no matter what, uh, because of the lower affordability, it's in a fantastic location. You're close to larger cities if you did want to participate in things in Boston, Providence, or New York, um, but much lower price point and the food and everything you can do in Worcester matches that price point. Okay. Can you inform us about the accommodation options? So I did mention that we have on-campus and off-campus housing. If you want on-campus, just remember to apply as soon as you get accepted because we do have limited grad housing. That being said, 14% of our grad population probably does on-campus housing. The other po populations, they either didn't apply soon enough or they just decided to go off campus, which can also be less expensive than living on campus. Are marketing classes difficult? I would say this depends on the student. So if you come from a background where you're prepared for this program, then you shouldn't have a difficult time through them. They should challenge you. They should push you to grow. I've taken a couple of the marketing classes and I found them very enlightening and interesting. I got my degree in communications and marketing at Clark University. So I don't think that they were unmanageable by any means. The professor and the TAs are very willing to help. You can work with your peers in your courses as well, which is nice. Um, but really the course material was interesting. So if you're going into marketing, you're probably going to be very interested in that topic. Uh, you're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna grow, you will be challenged, but it's not something that is terribly difficult. Like you shouldn't be scared to take the courses or anything. Okay, so now I am going to move into the chat box to see if there's any questions here. Okay, I think I've answered all of the questions. Um, if I haven't, it's because they were written in Turkish. Um, so if you all have any other questions, please know that my email address is already in the chat, but I will put it in there one more time. And for the student who is interested in PhD programs, you can reach out to me, but I will be connecting you with another person to talk about PhD programs. You can email this gradadmissions at clarku.edu and they will be able to help you. And then lastly, please make sure to visit our website, check out our programs, look at our student life. Our website is a fantastic wealth of information. I guarantee any question you have can be answered there. But if you can't find it, please email me. I'm friendly. I'm happy to talk with you. I love talking about Clark University. So please reach out.
And that being said, I think this comes to a wrap. Thank you everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. And just get, stay connected with us. I'll be reaching out to you shortly. Yes, thank you very much for your great presentation, Lauren. Thank you. Uh, we have another question about a cycling club. Could you also answer that too? Oh, this is a great question. I am not familiar if we have a cycling club, but we do have a lot of bike paths in Worcester and it would not surprise me if we do. I would recommend going onto the Clark website again and then typing in student clubs and organizations, and then you will be able to see all of the clubs and organizations that Clark has. Also, there are a lot of cyclists in Worcester and around Worcester. So if there is not a club at Clark University, it would be really easy to start a club. So like, say you're interested in a topic, you don't see it listed on there. That goes for any topic at all. Um, I'm sure there you can find a couple classmates who are interested in it, in it and then go to your school and petition for a new club. Yes, that's good to know. Thank you for your answer. Uh, I think it was a really informative webinar for the attendees and uh, also I would like to thank the participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Umarım sizin için de faydalı bir webinar olmuştur. Clark University ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için Lauren'e e, chat kısmında paylaşmış olduğu mail adresinden ulaşabilirsiniz. Aynı zamanda sizi aldığı webinarımıza da davet etmek isteriz. Thank you very much again Lauren. It was a pleasure to have you in IFC Talks. Thank you so much. You guys have a great evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.